Hello. Welcome. I'm back in front of the bed. I feel like it's been a while. I try and move around my space, but I only have but so many places that I can film. I have a small space. Speaking of small spaces, that's what this video is about. The reason why I wanted to do this video was because I got a storage unit. Yay! No, seriously, I, that's, that's huge for me. Backstory. When I first moved into my apartment, I came from living with my parents, which means I had one bedroom's worth of stuff. Seven years later, and I am bursting out of the seams. Shout out to my apartment for having a storage unit downstairs in my building that I can kind of use as a second closet because I need it. I've moved a lot of my stuff down there, my Christmas stuff, my Halloween stuff. You guys know that I do a lot of home decor stuff and I like decorating, especially for the holidays. And I like to switch up my decorating. I'm sure you guys wanna see something different every year and honestly, so do I. So I've been accumulating all of these things, but I've been storing it in this space. And I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. I'm gonna keep it real, real. I love to store things in aesthetically pleasing ways, but I'm going to be honest, when you're in a small space, you gotta do what you gotta do. You're not gonna always have these beautiful, aesthetically clear stacked bins that are labeled. You're just not. Here are some ways that I've been able to store things in my apartment and so that you really don't see it when you come into my space. It really doesn't add any visual clutter to the space. I'm not saying it's the best solution. I'm telling you what worked for me. First off, I really think it's important, and this is taking me back to my college days, but I took a lot of what I learned living in one little area with me into my adulthood. I would raise my bed off the floor. Now, I don't have 10 foot bed risers on my bed anymore, but what I do have is a bed that is off the floor. I need something at least 10 to 15 inches off the ground. Why? Because I store all of my bins under there, my Christmas bins, my Halloween bins, Anything I can fit underneath the bed, I'm going to try and stuff underneath the bed. And I kind of follow that trend everywhere in my space. I'm gonna be honest. I store stuff under my couch. I store stuff under my dresser. Anything that has legs that I can push far enough that you really won't see when you come into my space, I'm gonna stick stuff under there because I have no other place to put it. I have an ottoman in my room. I store all of my shoes in my ottoman. Now it's not really organized all that pretty, but when I need to go in there and find some shoes, I can find the pair, the one and the pair and take it out. And it acts as additional seating. So that wall was pretty blank and I had room to kind of store another thing in here that can kind of take up some space, but actually be functional space and functional storage at the same time. So try adding ottomans, whether if you have a longer room, maybe to the end of your bed, to the sides of your walls, wherever you can add ottomans. In my closet, I think it's pretty standard Correct me if I'm wrong, I've only lived in one apartment, but I see in other videos and stuff that it's pretty standard that these apartments include like these wire racks for you to hang up your stuff in your closets, that's where you hang your clothes on. I went and got a second wire rack from Lowe's. I had my dad install it about, I would say a foot and a half above the second rack, which gave me storage to store my pillows. I have so many pillows, you guys know that I've been on a pillow frenzy over the last couple years. What I've used was vacuum seal bags. I would stuff as many pillows from the Dollar Tree. Those, those bags are actually really good quality. The vacuum seal bags from the Dollar Tree, they're not very large, they say large. They're not very large, but I've been able to store two 18 by 18 pillows in those bags. And I would put two pillows in, take all the air out, and would get extremely flat. I would take another one, stack it on top, stack it on top. Even my big ones, my 24 by 24 pillows, I just use bigger storage bags that I got from Target. Hey guys, also do me a favor, just hit the subscribe button. I would appreciate it. Appreciate a thumbs up too, it helps the algorithm. Tell YouTube that you girls spitting fire knowledge around here, okay? I would appreciate it. Also, you may not have to use things as they appear. So I had these hooks that you're usually supposed to hang this way. I don't have the horizontal space in my closet, so I flipped it vertically and put it right in the little tuck of my closet. And I stored all my purses going down. It saved a lot of space. I needed a place to put my purses and that was a easy storage hack that I can put in my closet. Speaking of vertically, use vertical space wherever you can. I have hooks on my closet. So I have one hook, it is very sturdy, and I hung up all of my longer like cardigans and stuff. I think I might have maybe 10 or so items hung up on that one hook, but it's doing its job. It's too long to fit in my closet, so I use that one hook. I also have vertical storage for shoes in my hallway closet, and that's just a shoe rack. I'm sure you guys have seen that, that's kind of pretty standard, I guess, but use that vertical space. Also, 
use that horizontal space. So back in my closet, again, taking this from college, I have cubbies, but I didn't want to use those plastic cubbies that I used to use back in college. I kind of stepped it up a little bit. Nothing that I would really add to the outside of my space that's like where somebody can visually see it, but in my closet, it works. I think I got it from Target. It's just a six bin storage unit with little cubbies. And I bought black inserts. I may have gotten the black inserts from either Walmart or Target. And I stuffed so much stuff in there. My sheets go in there. My towels go in there. My pajamas have a cubby. My hats have a cubby. My arts and crafts have a cubby. Putting that cubby below gave me so much extra storage to put extra things that I need to store. So here's a new thing that I implemented. When I got my storage unit, I needed to put my winter coats downstairs. I went and picked up these bags. They're from Ziploc. I like this option because I needed to hang up my winter coat. So this could be useful if you're storing winter coats in the closet. This has a hanger so that you can hang multiple items. I think I have around three or four items hung up on this hanger that's inside of the bag. And then on the outside of the bag, it has another hanger so that you can hang it up in your closet. This has significantly reduced the space when it comes to storage in your kitchens. I only have but so many cabinets in my apartment. So I use vertical storage. Dollar Tree, again, I got this little riser stand that I put over my dishes and I can stack my mugs on top of each other. Gives me extra space to add more glassware, add more dishes in my closet. Vertical space, you guys have also seen under my sink. I use anything that I can store vertically, going upwards. I stack my cleaning supplies. I've hung things from the doors. I have a, a paper towel holder that I got from Dollar Tree and I use it to hang up like my Lysol spray or whatever I can kind of hook on that and store from there. Also, when it comes to storage in like your space, instead of getting a coffee table that has no drawers or no storage, get a coffee table that has storage. Instead of getting a TV console that doesn't have storage, get a TV console that has storage. When it comes to getting nightstands, get something with drawers. As much storage as you can add to your space, but that also looks aesthetically pleasing, acts as decor in your space and storage, is a win. You guys watched my desk tour. I added two drawers from Michael's because I needed storage. So at the end of the day, you have to get creative with your space. So if, I, if you have any other questions or you have any other storage hacks that you use in your space, share it down below. Sharing is caring, help everybody out. We're a big old rental community here with some homeowners, you know, we love you guys too. If you're new to my channel and you're looking for other videos about rental storage, rental hacks, rental upgrades, etc., I have a whole playlist over here. So be sure to check it out. I think I have some pretty good tips there. I don't know. Maybe somebody can vouch for me in the comments. Be sure to check those out and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Peace.